Hello Sagittarius, I hope you're doing great. This is your reading for January 2020. Happy New Year, happy holidays. I hope you are healthy and great. Um, first of all, sorry I look like this. This is a lazy day for me. I'm not wearing makeup. And <laughs> and um, if you're new, hello, my name is Amber. I'm so glad to meet you and thank you for being here. For those of you returning, thank you for lending your energy to the channel. So our readings can get better and better and better. And um, I always lose my train of thought in these things. I'm so bad at it. Uh, if you need a private reading, link's in the description box below. Or you can go to this website here. If you find something you can use, hit that like button. If you find something someone else can use, please share. We love to share healing around these parts. And if you want to hear more from me, subscribe, okay? Sagittarius spirit guide guardian angel divine energy universal energy oh there goes my nose they must have a lot to say to you spirit what do you have for Sagittarius what would you like for them to know pay attention to or be aware of at this time only allowing truth, honesty, love, and acceptance within this space for Sagittarius. All right. We have passion, enlightenment, and perseverance. All right, Sagittarius. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. So there's something that you're working on or some sort of relationship that you may be in. Okay. And whatever it is, you're pretty focused on what it is that you're doing, okay? Um, I feel like that's okay. It's okay to have that kind of passion um, because I feel like it's going to get you somewhere, okay? I also feel like you feel like it's going to get you somewhere. Nothing's a matter with having that. It's just time for you to reevaluate your thinking process on, how, on um, what you what you think the outcome is going to be or should be okay it's kind of about you living outside of borders or goals and just being okay and the reason why that is is i feel like if you're so focused on that particular goal or getting to something specific you're going to lose sight of what is happening what's being presented to you or how things are actually coming out um it narrows down your perception is what i'm saying okay so just be aware of that that's interesting i am interested to see what this reading is about sagittarius okay sagittarius so Basically what they're saying to me is like you're all action right now, okay? And you need to uh, think about things. You need to be a little bit more thought provoking, they're saying, thought processing, thought provoking than action in January. So what happens or what needs to happen can happen, okay? Okay, we have the Five of Swords. Yeah, I see where we're going. Three of Cups. Page of Swords. Two of Pentacles. Will of Fortune. There it is. Bringing in that change, baby. Ace of Wands. Wait, I just saw a card flip over. Five of Wands.
Ten of Swords. Oof, this is a lot going on here. Knight of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Like I said, Sagittarius, you do have on your mind that you're creating something, okay? What's interesting is it feels like uh, you feel like a winner. <laughs> They're saying winner, winner, chicken dinner. That's so funny. Um, you feel like you are a winner of sorts, okay? Um, that you're building something, that you've achieved some sort of goal here. And what's interesting is, okay, so it was all about action and it was all about achieving goals. And it was all about move, 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 passion, passion, passion. And you feel like you have received that, okay? Now it's about the future. What are you building? What are you nurturing? What do you have to show for it? Um, it's kind of like now you have to start building foundations. So you have to move away from this idea of passion or go, go, go or action and more into a settling energy okay for this situation so all right so here we go you start off this reading being on top of things that's what i feel like i feel like um there are some ups and downs um in this situation some some ins and outs some ups and downs okay but you definitely have been trying to work it out and i feel like blood sweat and tears went into making this happen which causes you to not be so adamant about making any changes, okay? I also feel like this can block you from making changes or allowing changes to be made because you're so focused on achieving your goal, okay? Um, some of you maybe, some of you, there's a third party involved. I'm just going to go ahead and throw that out there. Um, and finding this out is going to change this whole mindset. Okay. Some of you really need to see this because I feel like you've been so balanced, uh, trying to balance out this situation and make something happen that you're missing this little point or this divot. It's kind of like making excuses without making excuses. Um, I don't know how else to put that. But anyhow, um, someone is out having the time of their life. I do not feel like it's you. I'm going to be completely honest. Um, maybe spending time with friends or something of that nature. But I, I just feel like um, there's a change in the relationship, okay, where you felt like you were kind of in control and you had things in control. Now there's change. Something else is introduced into this situation. Okay. Um, <coughs> and now it's like, <coughs> <coughs> now it's time for you to accept what is happening so you can figure out how to uh, navigate yourself moving forward with this new knowledge with this new situation so I feel like you're in a watching phase okay like you're watching this situation you may suspect that there's a third party you may suspect that something funky is happening and I feel like you're gonna find out what you want to find out I do Whatever you're looking for, Sagittarius, <clears throat> you're going to find out. And it's going to be something they do, not say. I feel like this changes everything. I feel like it has to do with a friend, third party, partying too much, drinking. I really feel like you find something out. And you have to make a judgment call about it. And this like changes everything. It could be that they said that they were busy. 
and they weren't busy? <laughs> um, I just feel like you find something out, Sagittarius. And I feel like you find out what you want to find out. <clears throat> and now you feel like everything you worked for is gone. It's like you worked hard to not have to deal with things like this. And now you're faced with dealing with it. And I feel like that's a little struggle that you're going to go through. And they're telling me, some of you, this is not a relationship. This is a person you know, or maybe a child, okay? That you worked really hard to not have something happen, and then it happened. And you find that out. Um, you either find that out by a conversation, you go see, searching for it and you find it, whatever it is, you find it out, Sagittarius. <clears throat> and now you're trying to figure out how to move forward. You're not going to allow this to happen to you. You're not going to allow it to happen to you. You're not. I feel like this came into your life for a reason to show you something that you need to work on or that you need to handle because I feel like you weren't seeing it, okay? And now you're putting together a plan on how to move forward with this new knowledge. And I feel like it's something you've never done before either. It's like this comes with a whole new thought. You know, a whole new plan. <clears throat> yeah, some of you is definitely a third party relationship or someone just having way too much fun that they shouldn't be. Okay. <clears throat> and you felt like maybe if this happened in the past, that it was just something that just happened. Okay. It's one of those unfortunate events and... You were just ha emotionally happy with this situation, so you were going to try to work it out, okay? I feel like it never went away. It never went away. It never went away. And it just continued, it just continues to happen. Someone excessively continues to do something. It's like they don't. They don't want to do right. They want to have fun. They want to do what they want to do. <clears throat> I feel like you you feel like you made a bad decision somewhere along the way. And I feel like you're trying to gather up as much information as you can um, before you make any rash decisions. Before you put a plan together is what I'm hearing, okay? A plan of action. So you may, if those, for those of you who are giving money to someone, I feel like you're going to stop giving money to them. Or they either stopped giving money to you or money is missing. And you're about to say something about it. So something that was missing either in your home or time um, that they were spending away, you're going to say something about it. They're going to tell you whatever it is they were doing, what they were doing for the family. Something like that, okay? Also, they may just be thinking about themselves. Like, they're very happy in the situation that they've created. And they don't want it to change. They felt like you were okay with it, too, for a while. Um, I just feel like they felt like it was okay. That's all that I feel. Like, they are justifying it in some way to themselves. So, 
you're changing the way that you handle this situation, the way that you nurture this person. Um, because I feel like you've been trying to fix it, but they see it as you just being complacent with the situation. You know you need to you know you need to let this go. It doesn't have any staying power like you thought it did. It's almost like when you put the work into something, you hope that you had set up a, a good amount of, like, it's like you, when you train people, like a group of people, let's say you trained a group of people for work and you hope that you train them good enough so you can walk away and they can continue to work at the same pace. This person isn't doing that. They, It's like they can't do it without you on their back. And that's... No, you know, no. <laughs> and that's becoming heavy on you, like a heavy burden on you. Yeah, you got to try you're you're going to try a new way than what you were doing before. So I feel like emotionally you're going to detach yourself from this and start focusing more on yourself. That's your new plan. Your new plan is to focus more on yourself and what makes you happy. And figuring out how you're going to move forward. You're putting together ideas on how you're going to move forward from this. Now that you have this knowledge. It's like you need a new plan. Plans have changed, right? <clears throat> and I feel like there's going to be, they're going to fight with you. Okay, there's two things I see. It could be that they argue with you about you implementing new change because they don't want things to change. They want things to, to go back to how it was. Um, for you, some of you are going to fight with, you have this new knowledge and you've been on this road and this path and you're like, if I just keep doing this, it's going to work for me. I got to have faith. That's fine. But I feel like... Um, you're going to have a big conflict with that, okay? Because you know that something needs to change. You know that something needs to end in order for things to get better. You you can't fix whatever this is, okay? Um, holding on to the past is going to be a little bit de detrimental to you, Sagittarius, in, in January. Yeah. Are you... The thing that you're creating... The thing that you're allowing to happen, is this going to work for you? Is this going to work for your future? Is this nurturing you, your future? Or is it hindering you in any kind of way? Right? Are you just holding on to it for materialistic purposes? Just to keep someone around or just to keep something happy or someone, so no one else finds out? <clears throat> Those are not the right reasons, okay? Yeah. So <clears throat> if you keep holding on to this, I feel like there's no love circulating here. There's no real emotional attachment or someone just doesn't care anymore. Um, the direction that you're trying to create or what you thought you were creating is not the direction that you're going in. And all this truth is being exposed to you, especially with the high priestess here. It's for you to see. So the other side is being revealed to a situation so you can see it clearly, okay? So you got to think of a better plan on how to move forward, okay? You can't just stay in the middle. It won't just go away, okay? Um, it's causing discord in your home. It's going to, okay? If it's not now, now that you know it, it is going to. So that commitment that you thought you had or that you were going to have, <clears throat> I feel like this isn't it. This isn't it. This situation, this what you feel is not it. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So now that you know that your happy home or your foundations are not as solid as you thought they were, you have to do some deep thinking, okay? 
this deep thinking, this deep knowledge, this introspection, all this that you're going to find out, okay, gives you all the knowledge you need in order to move forward, right? You know the truth now. It's that simple. Um, now, how are you going to nurture yourself moving forward? You realize that nurturing you, nurturing your home, your materials, what you want to create is going to involve cutting some things out, changing some things, okay, out of love. I mean, it's going to be really hard to do. Um, it's going to feel really harsh, but what you're really doing is out of love, okay? So let's see what the Oracle cards have for you, Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius, these are your oracle cards. Let's see what other messages we get. Sagittarius, January. Spirit, what do you have for Sagittarius for January? Boundaries. One and two. Owl medicine, yes. Confirmation, guys. We have soulmate and honesty. It says, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. There we go, Sagittarius. Like I said, there is something that you're finding out, okay? Um, and it is time for you to be honest with yourself, right? You know the truth, so you have to act on knowing the truth, okay? Um, it's a part of you now. You can't ignore. You can't push it to the side. It is what it is. The truth is here. Okay. Um, the thing is, you have the knowledge and the know-how of how to move forward. And um, they're saying not to fix it, but to fix yourself, your thought process. You're gaining wisdom from this, from this situation to heal a certain aspect of your thinking process. That's the big thing here. Okay. Soulmate means that you're connected to this person on a soul level, meaning that there is a lesson to be learned here. There's something to learn. There's something to see here. Okay. Um, you have to set boundaries for yourself. So I feel like you've had a problem with boundaries before um, with this person or this situation. I feel like um, you felt like you've had to create something or make something happen or you're the one that creates balance. But what you have to see here is that what you have done is creating an environment. And this is the environment that is happening for you, right? So that means that there's something about your actions or what you're doing that needs to be healed in order to move forward into a better situation or a better environment for yourself, okay? So thank you so much for listening, Sagittarius. And if you need a private reading, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. Link's in the description box below. Also, you can go to this website. <laughs> I love you. Blessings. Bye-bye.